make it the same way each time they get mad. Strawberries, <laughs> um, Greek, plain Greek nonfat, plain Greek yogurt, a touch of honey, and cranberry juice. That's it, and that's blended. This one, I wanted to show the versatility of smoothies in a different way. This is um, the peach oatie smoothie. So you take, if this is oatmeal, it's a rolled oats, mix it with water, um, with milk, you could do water too, but with milk, and I put it in the fridge between 10 and 30 minutes to soak it up. You don't have to cook the oats. And then I put peach nectar, frozen peaches, um, and a little bit of cinnamon in there, and then you blend that one up. It's really easy. But it's again, it's a little bit different. Um, for here, this is the crustless uh, quiche, and it's a broccoli cheddar. And you can use like my, uh, mild, or you know, if you like it sharp. And this, again, it has no crust. And then the Greek yogurt plays in there with the egg mixture, so you can use it instead of like butter or like heavy fattening stuff. Um, and that is so easy to put together for a brunch. That's why I did it for now. You, most of the work is the oven does for 45 minutes. Zucchini bread, which has mm. grated zucchini and then grated carrots too. You can replace half a stick of butter with Greek yogurt. So a lot of recipes call for one stick or two sticks of butter, so you do a quarter cup for the half the stick and then you're good. Wow. Um, you can't do the whole stick because you do need the butter. And I'm an advocate, I have some recipes without butter, but I'm an advocate of, you know, you want to enjoy and you'll taste everything and everything tastes good. Um, so a little bit of butter in moderation and the calories are really within check for everything. And the book has all the calories. This, people think of parfaits, which I have there, but this is a salad parfait, mm -hmm. which is nice because you hate, I hate when people dig into my food, you know, dig into the salad. So I like to individual portion them. And it's really pretty for guests. Like you guys are like, ah, oh, pretty. <laughs> <laughs> so I just layered it, and I purposely um, did the colors in that order. You know, there's tomatoes and cucumbers and lettuce, and then the Greek yogurt is mixed with um, basil and parsley, chopped. So I add flavor, just not plain Greek yogurt, but I, I, I mix it in there. Um, and then there's carrots and yellow peppers. At the end, I have a white balsamic, because you don't want the balsamic vinegar, it has that blackish or dark color, so I use a white balsamic vinegar to make the dressing with some mustard powder and uh, oil, olive oil, that's it. And then you just drizzle just a little bit on top. I'll make these in a bit. These are walnut fig parfaits. So this uses honey Greek yogurt, and it's three ingredients to make the, um, the walnut and the fig. So it's figs chopped, walnuts chopped, and you'll see, I'll put it in a pan, saute it up. Two tablespoons of maple syrup brings out a tremendous amount of flavor, and that kind of binds it all together too. And then you just layer it with the yogurt, and that's it. It's so easy, and it's really good. Um, one of them I made a little bit well done, the walnuts, so if you like it, you'll see some, you'll be like, ooh, this is more like smoky flavor, you know? So you'll see the difference there. Stuffed French toast, this is my daughter's favorite, and just sprinkle the sugar dissipates, obviously. Uh, it was sprinkled about a half hour ago. So this is regular French toast, and the way I do it, I don't just keep breaking eggs, but I measured how much, all my recipes are exact measurements, so you know the calories, and so it comes out the same each time, also in terms of, oh, how many calories this time? Same each time. So it's just an egg batter with vanilla extract and cinnamon, and you just cook them up regular, but I cut thin pieces. And then in between are, is two ingredients. You mash together fresh blueberries and blended lemon Greek yogurt. That's it. And then you put it in between, um, and then you can sprinkle some sugar, and look, it just looks pretty too, and it's fun for kids also. My nine-year-old, it's her favorite dish. She's gonna be really mad, she missed it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I have one more actually in the, in the um, freezer too. These are called dirty blondies because mm -hmm. It uses oat bran in them. And when my kids saw, my daughter saw the oat bran, she's like, oh, it looks like dirt. Hence the name, Dirty Blondies. And so, again, I use Greek yogurt to replace some of the butter. Um, and then it's just, it's made, again, with oats and whole wheat pastry flour works really well to try to get a little bit more whole grain in there. So these are really good. 